I'll tell you what I, I would, I'm looking forward to seeing. Yeah. And that is the A team. Because just from seeing the trailers mm. I've seen, that does look really, really good. That's been in development for a very, very long time. And I know there's there's been, for the last six or seven years, they've been banging out a script for Ghostbusters 3. Mm hmm. Now, I don't know quite how that's going to work. But I don't even know if the whole cast are interested in doing it. Because I've I'm, you know. heard a lot of rumours. I mean, there was talk about doing a Ghostbusters 3 at the end of Ghostbusters 2, but. Bill Murray wasn't interested, yeah. and then it, it, the project died. Then someone wanted to create a game of Ghostbusters, but they didn't get the rights. But it sparked a lot of interest. Hence, why the Ghostbusters game came about, and hence why there's interest again in the Ghostbusters three. There was talk about doing a CG movie, so that way they'd all look how they would in Ghostbusters mm, two and one. Be the same though, would it? I don't know. I'm I very mean, much against remakes of films that I watched as a lad. Because you kind of think a remake would be an old black and white film like mm. Invasion of the Body Snatchers or something, which has had something like three or four versions redone, mm. and um, it came from outer space and mm. um, oh, what's the uh, War of the Worlds and stuff like yeah. that. All the old black and white films being remade, but not ones that were only like twenty years ago. That'd be like going back and saying, "I'm going to remake Die Hard." People like me what? and you would go, "You, Die Die Hard? you no. can't do it, can you?" You got to bear in mind that there are a lot of films in between the black and white era and the films that we watched growing up. They were actually remakes upon remakes, like um, King Kong. You had what was it, two thousand six? You had the remake, yeah. and you had the original. But there was one in I think the late eighties. It yeah. was absolutely rubbish, and no one's yeah, ever yeah. watched it since. Yeah. But that film's been remade three times. It's yeah. one of them things. You get some films in the Hollywood industry that get remade every sort of twenty years. Mm. What's your opinion on remakes? Um. Well, um, just to go back a little bit, um, the news that I read about the uh, Ghostbusters 3, um, as far as I know, most of the cast will be returning. Yeah. I don't know anything about, I never heard anything about a CG uh, release, but the storyline from what I've read is they are trying to, not only are bringing back the old team, but they're trying to reintroduce a new team mm. to sort of replace them. Uh, so I've heard, the yeah. Continue series for the, like you were saying, for the newer generation. Yeah. Mm. So I think that's that's how they're going to go approaching. So. Plus there was a fan film called, I think it was called The Return of the Ghostbusters, and it was completely independently financed, and they did it all through donations. And it is literally supposed to be about three people in a sort of, I think, I think by this point, Ghostbusters has been branched out, like, Franchised, yeah, like and they, McDonald's. yeah, <laughs> and they they did the um, the Chicago branch or something, and one of them is the nephew of um, oh, who's the one with the glasses, a really clever one, Egon. Though? Yeah, he's supposed to be the nephew of Egon, oh, right. and it's actually quite good actually. It's think, I think it's called the Return of the Ghostbusters. Yeah, it's a pretty cool film. So they're not mad keen on spin-offs, but then well, it depends. Some of them work, some of them don't. Yeah, but see, I never liked Predator Two as a sequel. I don't mind it, yeah. you know. Predator 2 was pretty cool. I mean, it had had Murtar, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, where's Riggs? He would be pretty good against the Predators. Do you really want to die? <laughs> <laughs> Do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remake mm. The Dukes of Hazard. It was horrible. Uh, no, no, I didn't like it. It, it was too overly redneck. And I, it was like... I could sort of remember the uh, original TV series, but they were kind of emphasising everything about the series. Mm. They were overplaying it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas the A-Team film looks totally different to the series. Mm. So they haven't really... They've kind of they've kind of done what the A-Team always wanted to be. No one ever mm. died in the A-Team, did they? I mean, from what I've read, it's supposed to... I think the origin's been tweaked slightly just to make it more acceptable for yeah. modern day. But then again, you've got to stretch over a two and a half film, a yeah. half film rather than a half an hour TV series. I think they're going for the same approach they did with Starsky and Hutch because that was sort of like a lost pile. I love the Star. I, I love Starsky was, and Hutch. Film. That was pretty cool. <laughs> you know I can. Anyway. Yes. But no, I love that. And what was really. It, it, and then having the original actors at the end as well was quite a nice touch. Mm, that was pretty funny, actually. I liked the, uh, the Magnum P.I. Miami Vice. Mm. Um, 
I think there was one called the Fall Guy. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we did have the Fall Guy. We did. I think yeah. We, I think we had all of them over here. Actually. Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah. I used to love the Fall Guy. Gosh. This guy turns into a animal. You heard of that one? What was it? I think it was called Manimo or something. Like that. He was a he was a guy who could turn into different types of animals. Don't recall. Um, don't recall that. One. We tend to get the best of what America produces, and then some of our low budget channels kind of get the yeah. not so good stuff. Basically, we get every we get all the good stuff, and then if I mean if you're looking at let's say twelve o'clock late at night, then you get the um, the other stuff. Yeah, but <laughs> but we got Quantum Leap, which we were mad oh, on. We got the X Files, we were mad on. What was the um, one where the guy they were constantly jumping jumping into um, alternate reality uh, dimensions? Oh, um, come on, sliders. Sliders. Oh, that was an awesome TV show. You can kind of see where we're coming from here, can't well, you? Well, yeah. X Files, that got a bit weird towards the end, didn't it? The problem with X Files was the the mythology is the best thing about the show, but unfortunately, it was like this, 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 and then it crushed on the way of it, yeah. and it never really recovered. No. They tried to reintroduce the standalone ep the, the standalone episode aspect of it, but it just never really worked out in yeah. the end. And I mean, the film, I mean, the new film, the X Files, I want to believe, is a really good film. It's just. They released it the same week as The Dark Knight. Now, uh, who, who, you, what are you going to see? The Dark Knight. Yeah, it's pretty the, the film absolutely taints because the problem with The Dark Knight was because of Heath Ledger's death, yeah. the film got delayed by about six months. Yeah. And it ended up coming out the same week as The X Files. And The X Files just absolutely tanked. I remember going to the cinema with a girl, surprisingly, and literally there was three people in the cinema. There was me, her, and the crazy bloke in the huge coat in the middle of the summer <laughs> in the front row. And she was trying to get all like laughing, joking. I'm like, shush, six parts, I want to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking forward to this for absolutely months. <laughs> right, what's else what else on the agenda? Oh, I don't know. Da, 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 da. What's on the agenda? Have something strong to drink. Oh, we've already done that. Go to bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is it about now? It's about what twelve thirty ish? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wanted to say um I went to your uh customized T shirt uh website. Ah, what'd you think? I'm getting probably by September I will have ordered my first customized T shirt, so I'll definitely uh broadcast Ah, oh, cool. I've already uh Made, I made a ball cap and I made a t-shirt. Mm. I, cool. I even made a mug on mine because I had the idea of actually sending one off to um, Reggie Gamer VX. I'm hoping to get him to do an episode with one of my mugs because that'd be so awesome. Because he's always got a cup of tea, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, it? and imagine having one with me on the front. That'd be so cool. I mean, the main reason I did it was I did it for me. And I, I did it because I like one of my own t-shirt. And then the website came about and I just figured... Why not get the website to be self-sufficient? It's not like you've got to you know, get someone to make you off a load just in case. They can order them as and when they want them, can't the, they? Like, I'll give you an example. I mean, I sent off a T-shirt to um, a couple of people. I mean, I sent one off to Tickermental One. I sent one off to um, Arca Game Table. Now, yeah, if I'd bought them in bulk, they would have been cheaper. But by the time I wrapped it up and sent it myself, I would have paid tons of shipping. But by doing it by Cafe Press, if I send one to someone in America, it's printed and made and posted in America, yeah. and the postage is so cheap. And that's the advantage of it. I can just pretty much order them whenever I want, and I get them at the greatest price, which you get them for the lowest amount. Well, yeah. <laughs> Cafe Press. <laughs> but the, the, the trick with Cafe Press is to go with the value T-shirt, not the um, expensive one, because that's ridiculous. But the value one is it's pretty cheap. A good quality T-shirt. Yeah. Well, my mum hasn't shrunk mine yet, or hasn't faded yet, so I know. I washed mine once, and it's still good. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> I mean, otherwise I would have shrunk, and I'd be a little bit stored. <laughs> but the yeah. design on the front is literally just a screen grab from one of my episodes, and I had to crop around the character and then paste it on the T-shirt. I think it turned out pretty well. 
I had thought about doing a reverse one, doing like a black and white one. So I've got a white one and a black one. Huh. But well, you, you, people have a choice. Mm. Yeah. Do the do the uh, Michael Richard game review range? You know, like do sneakers and you know ball caps and stuff. We had some t-shirts printed off when we did our um, cystic fibrosis tour, but they kind of peeled off after you washed them. Mm -hmm. Wasn't so good. I, guess, I suppose they're appealing. <laughs> Yes, I know, corny joke. I wouldn't even class it as a joke. Well, as I say, <laughs> it's better to try and fail, never have tried. Yeah. Oh dear. Right, should we put an end to this podcast? Yeah. I'm, I just want to say thank you for being our guest. It's been a blast. Oh, it's oh, yes. been great. Yeah, cool. I hope to be back on again. Yeah, we could be, be a regular guest, you know. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I mean, I mean, I have an idea for our second guest, but I'm not going to say it because I mean, I'd rather talk to him and have him agree before we even say anything. So I've got an idea for our second guest. Other than that, we haven't really got any plans for future guests. But if you're out in the community and you want to be involved, just give us a PM, and if we're doing one, you're available. We'll make it happen. I mean, the idea is the idea is to do one sort of every other month, like maybe towards what the end of a month, maybe. Yeah. So Ooh. that'd be like this week then? Well, yeah. <laughs> there was one thing I wanted to add was yeah. um, pay our respects to uh, a YouTube gamer that recently uh, mm. passed away. Um, his name is uh, Dances with Dudley. Yeah. And if we just uh, like a quick moment of silence before we end the program. Yeah. So I think his uh, family would like that. So that's good. That was a nice touch. Yeah. Now, I mean, I remember subscribing to him, and and I, I did I did hear about him, and I did leave my respects. You know, it is a shame, but like I said in the board, end of the day, he's created something, and people will keep watching that content. And in a sense, he will live on in YouTube because people can st still keep watching his videos. Right, right. That's how I that's how I try to think about it. I try to be positive. Right. Um, just want to say, everyone, thank you for watching the Stuart Mick podcast with Listening. a special guest. People don't watch this, do they? Well, they, they might watch it. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's not much to watch, but there's plenty to listen to. It was quite nice because people were saying they were listening to it in the background while they were yeah, was... doing random tasks yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Right. Right, let's, let's, let's try that again. Anyway, thank you for listening to the Stuart Mick podcast with our very special guest, Chuck Big Living Gaming. Woo! Woo! Right? Um, okay, thank you for watching. Should we do the end of music? Yeah. What end of music? Well, yeah, the one that you made. Oh, what, the same? Oh, I see, right, okay. Yeah. Come on. All right. Another random stuff